On behalf of the Georgia College community, it's a pleasure to welcome you, our new freshman class, to Georgia College. We are particularly pleased that you're here given the unique and challenging situation that the world's facing today. I'm so grateful to each of you and excited to see what wonderful talents, new ideas, and amazing contributions that you will bring, not only to this campus, but to the world in the coming years. As you know, we will be welcoming you to a face-to-face -face learning environment and doing all that we possibly can to ensure your health and well-being. As you begin your college career over the next four years, and yes, we plan to work very hard to help you achieve graduation in four years, you will learn about yourself, you will develop skills, and learn to think independently and lead creatively. You will find that you will make friends that will last your entire lifetime. Even with your mask on, your smiles will resonate with the experiences and skills that will serve you as much in life as they do in your career. Hopefully COVID-19 will be just a moment in time, but Georgia College is an experience that will last a lifetime. Now, let's talk about you, the class of 2024, for just a few minutes. Based on the statistics we have, you are quite an impressive group. According to our Office of Enrollment Management, there are 1,400 of you. Your average high school GPA is 3.6. In fact, 17 of you were valedictorian or salutatorian of your high schools. You come from all regions of Georgia, representing 110 counties, and from other states, including Alabama, Florida, Massachusetts, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and South Carolina and Texas. Many of you have given back to your communities through countless hours of service, and some of you have participated in mission trips. One of you spent a month in Haiti leading a children's camp. Last year, one of you won regional, state, and nationals in the Family Career and Community Leaders of America competition. Now this class includes a few students who are published authors. This class is a very artistic group. One of you has released songs on Spotify. Another one of you had your artwork displayed in the Georgia State Capitol. One of you had opportunity to sing with an honors performance choir at Carnegie Hall in New York. One of you sang with an International Honors Choir at the Sydney Opera House in Australia. And one of you plays six instruments. Many of you have served as team captains. One of you was even the founder of the Bagel Club at your high school. We also have one student who plays second in the American Institute of Architects annual competition for the state of Georgia where there were 1,000 students competing. Several of you earned your Eagle or Gold Scout awards. This year's Bobcat freshman class also includes 11 sets of twins and even one student who is a quad quadruplet. Now, speaking of Bobcats this year, we will continue our tradition of Bobcat Fridays by wearing our school colors of blue and green every Friday. Also, as a way of promoting your own health and your fellow Bobcats health, we're encouraging you to show off your fun and creative mask. We will have regular contests and spotlights on our website and social media featuring your mask wear. We really do expect you to observe social distancing and we really want you to wear a face mask. So if you don't have one, please contact the Office of Student Life so that they can help supply you with one. Now I know the first year students we have in the class of 2024 will study hard, attend class, and uphold our campus values of reason, respect, and responsibility, and that you'll succeed in your chosen major. And I am confident that we can take care of ourselves 
and each other as we navigate through these unprecedented times. And if I could offer you one piece of advice, it would be to get to know your professors and advisors. Go by and visit them during their office hours or schedule a virtual, virtual visit as soon as you can. If you're having trouble in one of your classes, speak with your professor as soon as possible. Our professors and advisors care deeply about their students and they want to help you. Now, despite the disruptions that this pandemic has caused, we want you to enjoy the full spectrum of activities that the university offers. And I hope that over your four years here, you will visit our galleries and museums on campus and, and in the community and that you'll take full advantage of the beauty of the local environment, including our own Lake Laurel. I urge you to get involved and take time for your own personal health and your own personal growth. Our university desires to be a place where engaged learning happens. We hope that you will actively seek to engage in our community and the activities that go on around the university. Take what you're learning in class and apply it in a professional environment. One way you can engage is by being involved in the activities of the Gift Center. The Gift Center coordinates your involvement with a variety of community agencies and schools, and they're working on a number of programs in response to the current crisis. So please reach out to them to find out more about what you can do to help in our community. We are so glad that you're here. And as I said earlier, we're looking forward to seeing what you will bring to our campus and to our community, as well as what we can bring to you. To start, we've included a pen and a postcard in your welcome packets that you received at check-in. These include information about our alumni association and our student alumni council, which I hope you will become more familiar with during your time here. Now, best of luck to you in your coursework and growth during your first year. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Costa Spiro. Hello, Class of 2024. My name is Dr. Costa Spiro, and as President Dorman mentioned, I am the Provost here at Georgia College. By working closely with our faculty and academic leaders, my role is responsible for delivering the academic experience on campus. I'm delighted to share some of the details regarding what classrooms will look like this fall. From the outset, please know that we are committed to maintaining a safe and healthy learning environment for everyone. Instruction this semester will be face-to-face -face with social distancing, in addition to other mitigation measures recommended by the CDC and the Georgia Department of Public Health. Some classes will be offered online or in a hybrid format. Masks will be required in all facilities and in areas where social distancing is not possible. You may also notice new vinyl barriers between teaching areas and students. Classrooms will be cleaned daily, and we're planning to stock classrooms with sanitizing wipes so that the instructor and students can wipe down their work or study area if they desire. The combination of employing social distancing, face masks, face shields, vinyl dividers, and sanitizing wipes in the classrooms is aimed at creating a learning environment which places health and safety as the primary consideration. And although these are unprecedented and very challenging times for all of us, Georgia College will continue to deliver our high quality academic programs with the same amount of rigor and richness that would normally be expected even before the pandemic begun. Let me conclude with a few observations and suggestions. First, know that time management is critical to your success. Time management allows you to plan and prepare to tackle your responsibilities and to achieve your goals in the most effective and efficient way. Seek out time management information available on campus. If you embrace and practice the various time management principles consistently, the results will amaze you. Second, we provide some of the most comprehensive academic support services through our nationally recognized University Learning Center. The staff offer academic workshops, after hours tutoring, 
peer-assisted study sessions, and many other services. Do not wait until the last minute to contact the University Learning Center. Third, work closely with your academic advisor to ensure you're making progress towards graduation. I know that you have not even started your first semester yet. However, we want you to complete your studies in four years or less. Fourth, faculty members are here to help you succeed. Maintain close contact with your teachers, ask questions, and make sure you remain connected. That will prove essential to your success. Finally, you will be learning more about our GC Journeys program, which is central to the rich liberal arts experience that we provide. Remember that our emphasis at Georgia College is placed on preparing you in your academic major, but also to gain the skills and knowledge that, will, that we know employers are asking for new college graduates. The ability to work in teams, analytical reasoning and critical thinking, written and oral communications, information literacy and knowledge of global issues. Once again, class of 2024, Welcome to Georgia College, and I wish you a productive and intellectually rewarding academic year. I'd like now to introduce Dr. Sean Brooks, Vice President of Student Life. Greetings, Georgia College students. Allow me to be one of the first to welcome you, the class of 2024, to campus. We're very excited to get the fall semester underway. As you may be aware, throughout the summer, we've been busy preparing our campus for your return. The Division of Student Life contains 15 departments that provide programs or services designed to help keep you on a path to success. Although the delivery of those programs and services may be a hybrid of face-to-face -face interactions and virtual programs or appointments, I'm happy to report that we're here and ready to provide you with an outstanding collegiate experience. My remarks today serve as a reminder to you about our foundational values of reason, respect, and responsibility. As outlined in the Georgia College Student Handbook, Georgia College students are expected to achieve and maintain high ideals founded on the sound principles of utilizing reason before acting or reacting, employing respect for others, for ideals, for the law, and for property, and recognizing their responsibility as citizens and members of the campus community. Given the COVID-19 pandemic, these foundational values could not be more pertinent. It's our expectation that you employ reason in how you act in response to the pandemic, employing respect for all other members of the Georgia College community, and take responsibility to help keep yourself and each other safe. As a friendly reminder, we're requiring you to wear an appropriate face covering while inside campus facilities and buildings where six feet social distancing may not always be possible, and outside where social distancing requirements are not being met. Use of face coverings will be in addition to and not a substitute for social distancing. Face coverings are not required in one's own housing suite or residence hall room, or when alone in an enclosed office or study room. Please note that although enforcement of social distancing and face covering requirements ends at the property lines of Georgia College, your responsibility to keep yourself and others around you safe does not. We ask that as you move beyond the boundaries of campus, that you still wear a face covering in public and practice, practice social distancing. Remember that you will need to do your part to help to control the spread of COVID-19. Once again, allow me to welcome you to the fall of 2020 semester. If there is ever anything I or any member of the student life team can do for you, please let us know. Go Bobcats. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you Nathan Graham, president of Georgia College's Student Government Association. My fellow Bobcats, my name is Nathan Graham and it is my honor to serve as your student body president. Today, I address you as the newest Bobcats to arrive on our beautiful and historic campus. Your arrival looks slightly different from when I was in your shoes three years ago, but I sincerely hope that the opportunities you encounter and the memories you make here will be just as meaningful. 
The college experience that lies before you from this day forward will define you as a person, just as my time here has for me. One of the first parts of the college experience is learning the traditions that have built the Georgia College community. This starting with the Campus Community Pledge. Each and every Bobcat holds the important task of the continuation of our campus community. This pledge is taken by every Georgia College student and affirms your place as a Bobcat. It symbolizes the responsibility we all share as students to uphold the values of our campus. So, please repeat after me. By enrolling in Georgia College, I solemnly pledge that I will conduct myself in a manner that reflects credit on the Georgia College community. And I will uphold the honor code of the university. I will employ reason in my interactions with others. I will respect and appreciate the differences among the diverse members of the Georgia College family. And I will take responsibilities for the actions that I choose. Thank you. Our continuation of tradition comes with a banner given to each class, and your class is no different. The Class of 2024 banner, along with the banners of the three prior classes, are in display in the lobby of the Ina Dillard Russell Library. This banner will be there to remind you of your fellow classmates, and when you finally walk across that stage in four years, it will be at the ceremony. Just as other class banners have been present for past graduating classes for the past 18 years. The last bit of tradition today is a gift that you should have already received from our Alumni Council. A pin with your graduating class on it. It is a gift for Bobcats by Bobcats who have already walked the same pathways you will and are the foundation for which you will build off of. Wear this pin with pride and keep it as a badge that your institution is behind you. Daily campus life looks vastly different today than in previous years. It is true that we now face other challenges than that of our predecessors, but this does not mean we are limited. We as Bobcats are responsible for fostering our own community and rising to meet the challenges that we are presented. What makes Georgia College special is that we have always and will continue to do just that. And that is why I urge students to get involved and to get to know those around you. The idea of social distancing has made it seem as though we must isolate entirely from those around us. That could not be further from the truth. Do not let these new physical barriers wall you off from making the most of the social opportunities here. Frequently, we learn more from those around us than from textbooks, whether it is the classmate seated six feet away or the new face in the Zoom breakout room. These are connections that you will cherish for the rest of your life. You all share a sense of commonality by the pledge you just took. You are all Bobcats. All you have to do is build from there and it will amaze you the number of similarities you share with those around you. You will also likely notice differences between yourself and your peers as you gain footing in your new home. Take those points of difference as a way to educate yourself and to grow, not isolate. Looking beyond yourself will aid you in grasping the bigger picture of being a productive member of society as someone who can critically think and analyze. These moments of empathy and problem solving are the ways we build, maintain, and strengthen a family here at Georgia College. Georgia College is more than a collection of buildings, green spaces, and walkways. This campus is worthless without the student-driven community and the commitment to forwarding the ideals of reason, respect, and responsibility. The experience that lies before you will not always be easy, but I can guarantee that it will be worth it, as I assure you it has been for me. So I wish you all the best today and for a better tomorrow from your student body president. Thank you, Nathan, Provost Spiro, and Vice President Brooks. I'd like to also take this opportunity to thank the first year experience team and the countless student life professionals who've created safe and welcoming activities for our new students. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Michael Stratton, Dean of the J. Whitney Bunting College of Business. Greetings, class of 2024. I am so pleased to welcome you to Georgia College and State University, and in particular, the J. Whitney Bunting College of Business. You're joining a community of leaders, scholars, and practitioner experts. Accredited by AACSB International and ABET, our business programs are highly rigorous and relevant. We have some of the most recognized and celebrated academic programs in the region and country. You're about to receive an education that will change your lives and present countless opportunities for success. This community promises to embrace you. Our values for inclusivity and tolerance will become evident to you during your journey. I, like you, are new to Georgia College. As the new Dean of the College of Business, I will join you on your journey of discovery, of engagement, of impactful learning, 
of challenging assumptions, and of seeking truths. So I ask you, what is your purpose? As you explore the numerous learning opportunities in the College of Business, we will empower you to question, to innovate, and to explore. We do not intend to prescribe, but to create pathways for you to consider how you may make a difference in lives, in organizations, in institutions, and in systems around us today and in the future. As you seek that path, ask yourself, what tools will I need to be an effective leader? Whether you hope to be an expert in marketing who wants to leverage big data and analytics, a disruptive entrepreneur who challenges the status quo, a computer scientist committed to leveraging virtual technologies, a human resource management professional seeking to reinvent recruitment strategies, an economist studying global poverty, or an expert in finance or accounting committed to environmental or socially responsible practices, or anything in between, you will soon realize the value of the knowledge, skills, and abilities for which a public liberal arts education affords. Here at Georgia College, you will engage peers, leaders in business, teacher scholars with current and relevant content expertise, a staff committed to your success, and alums who care deeply about your journey. I implore you to create relationships, lean in to ask questions, to build networks, and to take advantage of the opportunities like study abroad, internships, undergraduate research, courses outside your major, and other experiences that will expand your toolkit. A liberal arts education empowers you. It liberates you and it opens you to others' perspectives, perspectives for which you may disagree. That's healthy and expected. How you respond, however, will help define your reputation and the power of the social and professional networks for which you will seek to build. Listen. Study the complex issues at the crux of the debate and gather evidence to support your argument. I often remind myself that it's about style over substance. You can have the most compelling argument in class, in a research paper, or in a policy discussion. But if you approach your argument with superiority or disdain, then often your argument will be ignored or dismissed. Hate, hubris, ignorance, and intolerance are behaviors and characteristics of bullies, not leaders. If you balance advocacy with inquiry, with that important ingredient of humility, then you will attract the attention of those for whom you disagree. They'll listen and respect you. Along the way, please care for each other. We're here for you and we want nothing more than to see you smiling as you cross that stage in 2024. It'll be a marathon, not a sprint, so take care of yourself. Get rest, be good to yourself, and remember to lean on us, your faculty and staff, your family, and your friends. We're in this together now more than ever. I welcome you to the J. Whitney Bunting College of Business. Have fun on this journey. Students of the class of 2024, welcome to Georgia College. I'm happy to have the opportunity to connect with you before you even step foot in the classroom. And there are not many people out there that have a greater claim to introduce you to Georgia College. Not only am I an economics professor at GCSU, but I'm also an alumnus. 16 years ago, I was in your position. I was incredibly excited, a little nervous, and I'm sure you're feeling a lot of those same emotions right now as well. For many of you, this will be the first time that you live on your own, which in its own right is a significant life adjustment. Pair this with a new cast of characters in your life, a complete change in your daily schedule and routine, and myriad other challenges, and it's easy to understand that any nervousness or excitement is justified. I can still vividly remember my first few days at Georgia College. My first morning in my dorm room, I woke up early. Embarrassingly, I was too excited to sleep. I decided to make a run to Walmart to pick up some dorm room supplies, but I literally got lost. I aimlessly drove around Milledgeville not really knowing what else to do. Thankfully, this aimlessness only lasted a few weeks for me, and I soon learned how to get around Milledgeville, made many new friends, and ultimately settled on economics as a major. But unfortunately, some students never get past this feeling of aimlessness. I see them three or four years into their collegiate career and they're retaking classes they failed, missing lectures, and just floating through life with no clear goals. Don't let this happen to you. Given that I'm 16 years beyond the start of my Georgia College experience, I wanna give you some advice. So here are eight things that I wish I knew when I began at Georgia College. Number one. Everyone is going to be very friendly during the first few weeks of college. There may never be another opportunity for you to make friends so easily. 2,000 students that are your age, from similar backgrounds, and in a similar position are all tossed together in a scenario where they are desperate to make connections. Don't waste this chance to make new friends. 
Number two, think about money. Frequently, college students are advised to follow their dreams or more directly, don't choose a career based on money. I think this is impractical advice. A dream is rarely what creates a career. I'm not a professional golfer. The salary that different workers earn is an important part of our economic system. For example, if society does not have enough accountants, their wages will rise, which will encourage more workers to enter the field. Thus, by seeking a high paying job, you will likely be satisfying an important need in society. So I encourage you to investigate the income earning potential of various positions as you finalize your choice of major. Of course, the goal of life is not to maximize wealth. So my hope is that college provides you the opportunity to explore your interests, to balance your interests with your financial goals. Number three, really do go to class. This is cliche for a reason. If you don't go to class, you will not only reduce your chances of success, but it will also lead to anxiety and leaving you feeling aimless. Don't let class feel like an option to you. Make it mandatory. Number four, take advantage of the resources available to you. Georgia College offers a writing center to help with papers, a learning center that provides tutoring, a state-of-the-art exercise center, a career center, and the list goes on and on. Do not waste these services that you are so lucky to have. Number five, if you have any desire to go to grad school, take as many math classes as possible. Far too often we see that students realize that they want to go to grad school during their senior year. While it's often not too late to prepare applications or take grad placement exams, students frequently find that they lack the math training. Given the increased use of data in the workplace, this can really help you get a good job as well. So it will be a good use of your time regardless of your career path. Number six, make time for internships. If you really want to find a good job in your field of interest, do everything you can to find a good internship. Internships provide real world training that frankly you won't get in the classroom. Employers really care about internships. And in the last few years, it's become quite common for students to receive a job offer directly from their internship employer. Number seven, embrace change. You are not the person you will be in four years, and the person you are in four years will change again. Given that you yourself are still growing, it's completely reasonable and expected for your goals, ambitions, maybe even your morals to change as well. Remember when you were nine and wanted to be a police officer or a marine biologist? You're a different person then, and you'll be a different person again in 2024. And finally, number eight, your goal at college is to develop as a person. Your grades, your accolades in the classroom are important, but college, especially at a liberal arts college like GCSU, is so much more. Don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone, to change, to ask questions, because there may never be a period in your life where you can devote so much of your time to your own personal development. There you go, eight tips for a great collegiate experience. It's like a BuzzFeed article without all those annoying ads. I again want to welcome you to Georgia College. I hope that this place changes you as it did me. Good luck, Bobcats.